You've made it all the way to tutorial number 10. Good for you. This tutorial series is on Python 3. There should be an annotation on the screen to the full playlist. I'm putting out a new video every Wednesday uh, on Python 3 for the next couple of months. Um, and so far, we've looked at a lot of stuff. We've looked at um, displaying stuff to the screen, retrieving user input, uh, saving it to a file, reading a file, uh, and we've done some basic math stuff as well. Uh, and I've talked to you about how there's different types of uh, variables. Uh, there's strings, there's integers, there's floats. Um, and we showed you last time uh, in the math how if you try to say something like this, print, and we say the number is and I say plus two, it's going to give us an error because it's trying to add the two together and one's an integer and one's a string. But there is something you can do if you wanted to repeat a string a number of times. Uh, and what I mean by that is here we put the plus sign, but let's say, and I got this example uh, from another website, uh, but I thought it was a good one. Um, Let's say I say ha, if I, if I print ha, ha. But let's say I wanted to print it three times. I could go ha, ha, and ha, right? But there's a shorter way of doing it. And this example is a short example, but it could make a difference in a code, you know, later on. Um, or maybe you got the, the ha from the user input or whatever, but you're trying to repeat it three times. Instead of a plus sign, which obviously doesn't work, we can say times three. And it's not going to try to multiply three times the string, which would not work. It's going to take the, th the string and display it three times. So we get ha ha ha. Um, so and you can do that with, uh, you know, any string. I can say blue 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 and it goes blue 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 blue. That's, that's actually how you pronounce that. Blue 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 three times. I can say five times. I can say 50 times. You know, I can say it 500 times. So I know this tutorial is a little short, but that's uh, kind of the topic of this tutorial. Uh, but we're going to get more in depth. I didn't want to put these together in one tutorial, but into the different types of uh, variables and how to convert from one to another next week. So I know this week was a short very simple but kind of fun little tutorial. Next week's going to be more in depth on converting uh, from strings to integers to floats, from floats to integers, and back and forth, and all that stuff. And it's actually really, really simple. Uh, but that's next week's tutorial. So I do thank you for watching this week's tutorial, although it's short, but it's okay to have a short one every once in a while. Um, but be sure to check out the annotation on the screen that will bring you to the playlist. Uh, and Maybe you're watching this after I've already made these videos and the full playlist is there and you can just hop on to next week's video right now. Um, but if not, next Wednesday, there will be a new video and again, it will be on converting to different from integers to strings and back and forth and floats and all that stuff. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And uh, be sure to come there. You can search through my videos and playlists there. I have plenty of videos and playlists on many different topics. Uh, and if you find this video interesting, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know. Um, but you'll probably find other of my videos interesting. And be sure to, as I said, like and also subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.